Despite millions of job openings, it's tougher than ever to get hired. The media constantly claims companies are desperate for workers, with many jobs waiting to be filled. Yet many people send out dozens or even hundreds of applications without landing a single interview. So, what's going on? And before we dive in, if you've ever felt like your job search is as mysterious as a hidden treasure hunt, hit the like button and subscribe. Who knows, it'll bring some good karma to your resume. A few decades ago, even during job shortages, finding a decent job was easier. The boomer-era advice of putting on a suit and asking the manager for a job often worked. After enough tries, you'd find someone who liked you. Nowadays, even if you tried this approach thousands of times, you might still get nowhere. One clear difference is the higher entry bar for most jobs. Before 2000, a college degree almost guaranteed a good job. Companies competed for recent graduates offering wages that could support a family. If they didn't, they wouldn't get employees. Today, companies primarily target the top students, and what used to be a ticket to entry is now the bare minimum. Over 70% of jobs require a bachelor's degree, but only about 30% of American adults have one. Besides a degree, you also need real-world experience. For many so-called entry-level positions, companies demand years of experience for salaries that are barely livable. To gain this experience, you often need to work while studying full-time, which isn't feasible for many students. In the past, job shortages existed and people faced rejections. But today's situation is marked by intense competition fueled by the Internet. In the 1980s, companies had limited options for hiring. Small businesses relied on in-person events, word of mouth, or physical leaflets. It was a slow process with few applicants. Hiring managers had to evaluate each applicant individually. Larger companies had slightly more tools, like college recruitment. But even then, the process was more personal and limited. Fast forward to today, and the hiring landscape has completely transformed. Companies can post a job listing on multiple websites, instantly reaching thousands of potential applicants. Without the need for in-person applications, job postings can attract thousands of candidates, leading people to apply to dozens of jobs at once. This increased ease has made it even harder for applicants, as companies now receive overwhelming numbers of applications for every position. Technology has expanded the pool of competition, making finding a job or partner more about numbers than personal connections. How you fill out your application or online profile matters more than anything else. With so much choice, companies and people feel they can afford to have higher standards, but the result has been a dehumanizing job market. So, why is it so difficult to find a job today? It's not just about competition. The real issue lies in how companies have adapted to this new reality. They've employed methods that make the hiring process even more challenging. With an influx of applications, companies turn to Applicant Tracking Systems, ATS, to filter out candidates. Over 97% of Fortune 500 companies use ATS software to screen applications automatically. Initially, ATSs rejected candidates based on simple criteria, like legal work eligibility. Today, they can filter candidates based on address, experience, and keywords. If your application doesn't include the specific keywords or formats the system recognizes, you might end up at the bottom of the pile or be rejected outright. To get noticed, applicants often need to tailor their resumes for each job posting using exact keywords and formats that ATSs can process. This adds to the soul-crushing nature of modern job hunting, where you get ghosted repeatedly without feedback. And while nearly every major company uses these systems, there's a concerning trend on the horizon. AI-powered ATSs. These systems are better at reading and ranking resumes, which means companies may cut even more human elements from the hiring process to save costs. This shift toward automation dehumanizes applicants, turning them into data points rather than individuals. The odds of standing out are stacked against you. Some even argue that half of all job postings are for ghost jobs positions that don't actually exist. A 2023 statistic showed that the ratio of people hired to job openings fell below 0.5, indicating many job listings are never intended to result in hires. Why do companies keep ghost jobs listed? Sometimes they've already chosen an internal candidate or plan to distribute the workload among existing employees, but want to appear as though they're hiring. They might also be fishing for a unicorn employee who is overqualified and willing to work for less. Other times they post jobs to give the illusion of company growth, 
or to make current employees more productive by implying potential replacements. Job boards like Indeed exacerbate the problem by not filtering these ghost listings. They benefit from appearing to have thousands of jobs available, even if many are fake. Since job seekers don't pay for these platforms, they're not the primary customers, companies are. Therefore, there's little incentive for job boards to clean up fake listings. This has made job searching an excruciating test of patience. Recruitment agencies, which you'd think would be obsolete in the age of instant communication, have thrived. They've become necessary middlemen, reversing some of the problems created by automated hiring processes, but often charging hefty fees for their services. Even if you beat the automated systems or navigate the recruiter maze, the interview process has also evolved, often for the worse. Many companies now rely on questionnaires and tests rather than personal interviews. These tests, often seen in retail chains like Walmart, are designed to measure compliance rather than aptitude. You're tested more on how willing you are to jump through hoops than on your actual skills. Upper management's lack of trust in middle managers' hiring judgment has further entrenched these tests. Throughout all these changes, the power dynamics have shifted. The process of finding a job has become a grueling numbers game, requiring either sheer luck or the willingness to apply to dozens or hundreds of positions. Data shows that applying through job boards yields about a 3% success rate, making it necessary to send out countless applications to secure a job. The evolution of hiring practices, automation, and increased competition have turned job searching into a dehumanizing experience. Automated systems, ghost jobs, and a focus on filtering over personal judgment have left job seekers struggling in a landscape that's vastly different from a few decades ago.